Hi, right, welcome to the Southeastern Massachusetts Regional 911 Center, uh, also known as SEMREC. I'm Rob Verdone, I'm the Executive Director. Come on in and I'll give you a tour. So this is our, our lobby. It helps us welcome guests and it's a layer of security. We decorated the lobby with our uh, rug with our, our seal on it. The seal was intended to represent the, the initial phases of SEMREC in the 911 district. It incorporates pieces of the Massachusetts seal as well as the four stars representing our charter agencies. So we proudly display that in the in the, the lobby. And we also have a miniature replica of our tower that's so prominently displayed up, up front. So this is our main operations center. This is where all the 911 calls from our communities are answered, as well as police, fire, and EMS dispatch. This building was a Cold War era facility that we renovated uh, using the State 911 Trust Fund grant program through the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. The center is uh, designed to enhance crew comfort, to be operationally efficient, and to give us flexibility in the future and today. The facility itself had these columns and it. it was one big open room, so we had to work around that. And our architects did a phenomenal job of incorporating the, the columns into our operations center. Uh, we also installed the light well or the skylight to you know, bring in some natural light for our center. So each one of these positions is just about identical. Um, it gives the, the operators the ability to back each other up, and to move from position to position. So if one position failed or um, somebody had to back one, somebody else up, they're able to uh, just go to work. Everything's right there for them. So if you want to check out this console, we incorporated the, the, the corner cockpit desk that has two uh, levels for sit stand. Uh, so if Billy wanted to stand up, he could, he could stand up and move the desk up and down. Um, there's a small fan in there and a heating system so that he can, you know, whatever his uh, comfort level is as far as ambient temperature, he's able to adjust it. Um, we have the next generation 911 system as well as our CAD RMS platforms um, and some ancillary screens for security or whatever the, the dispatcher really needs. Uh, the portrait style monitor to Billy's right is our radio console and that gives them the ability to pull the console towards them or away and it's all touchscreen so it's uh, very intuitive to use. Uh, we monitor a tremendous amount of channels and it gives them the tools to navigate those channels efficiently. So we use the straight style desk for the supervisor console in the middle. It just gives them a little more space to look left and right and it's a, a different intent from the, the cockpit designs. So the supervisor sits in the middle of the desk, she's able to get up, and walk around or come back to her desk and you know, do any of the functions of the, the, the normal dispatcher or call taker. So the design intent for the, the layout was to have telecommunicators sitting next to each other and not back to back. Um, so the two people working together are generally, or we tried to get them as close to, together as possible sitting next to each other so they can just turn right or left and have their partner right there. On the perimeter of the room, we have extra desks for what we call impact shifts or surge operations. So when we have Gillette Stadium events or Xfinity events or storm coming in, we can staff those up. Uh, and normal course of, course of business, we also have a, an extra person on duty just for uh, to absorb any of our surges. The video wall system we used, we thought was a tremendous tool. Everything we do in here is digital. We have the av availability of uh, binder storage and shelves and stuff, but we use very little paper here. It's essentially just for backup and note taking. Most of our tools are, are software and on the computer. So the video wall system gives us the ability to be dynamic and agile in what we're, what we're displaying. So we get asked a lot why we have so many different types of chairs. Um, and the reason is that we have a bunch of different types of folks here that work here. So we want to make sure that everyone's comfortable so they could you know, work in the tall uh, drafting style chair or we have a, a variety of different chairs so that um, whether throughout the shift they want to change it up or you know, uh, some operators are big and tall in the back and some are a little smaller. So we try and accommodate as much as we can, um, just people's comfort and what they like. Yeah, so we tried to incorporate that into the design of the facility as well. Um, we had an option to build a commercial kitchen or um, not have a kitchen at all, do like a kitchenette. So we decided to, to have a very um, residential style kitchen. They have a refrigerator, stovetop, dishwasher, and all the, uh, the stuff that goes with that. So uh, members can come in here, they can cook at night or cook during the day, uh, cook their meals, store their food in the fridge, or come in here for a quick break. Um, a lot of people eat on the floor, just nature of the, nature of the job, but uh, we wanted to make sure that they had the, the uh, resources to, to feel at home here. So at the facility, we have two uh, recovery rooms um, and they're designed as bunk rooms and also an area somebody can come, uh, take their mind off something, take a rest. Um, so these are used during storms or just during the shift that somebody needs to kind of hop off the floor for a couple minutes. The employees here spend a lot of time here and they, they bring bags and whatever. Um, so we have lockers available for everyone to use. They have their own personal lockers. We also have a shower facility and obviously a restroom facility, but uh, we thought it was important to make sure everyone had a locker and had some space that they wanted to secure their belongings or just store their snacks and stuff. 
Thanks for visiting us here at the Southeastern Massachusetts Regional Emergency Communication Center. We're extremely proud of how this project came together and actually got built out. Uh, if anyone out there in the Thin Gold Line community needs help building their center or doing an upgrade, we'd be more than happy to, to assist. Just reach out to us. But we got work to do, so thanks for coming.